Folks, welcome back to the Teleportarium. It is time to do some more Hobby Nightmares, and I'm told this one is a doozy, but I have not read it yet, so we'll be getting to that in a second. First of all, thank you very, very, very much for pushing the channel towards 10,000 subs. I honestly think we might get there now, but if you are new to the channel, please sub, please uh, help the channel out, because it does us wonders for the algorithm and gets us pushing up there, because these are the months where war gamers will be watching YouTube a lot. So, it is now a good time for me to start saying to you, please subscribe. And if you don't like what I do, then go and subscribe to somebody else. There are lots of other people on this platform who deserve your love and support. Um, you know, they are an amazing group of people that we, we all try and help each other out. Please go out there and help. If you've got a favourite hobby YouTuber that you haven't gone and given some love to, especially if they're a smaller one, minus, minus like 80,000 subs, go and help them out, go and pump them up, because we need to expand the hobby sphere because at the moment it's dominated by a few voices and not all of them can be can be trusted because a few of them get stuff from games workshop for free and those are called shills anyway let's get into a hobby nightmare shall we because i some other people on the discord have told me this one's a good one so if it is a good one and this is the first one where they've actually recommended one to me that's been that's been posted somewhere so you know uh, and then sent in to us so you know uh, it says something when I get an email and then I send it out there to, to, for people to vet and then they say, this one, choose this one for God's sake. So, here we are. Despotic Horseman says, Hello North. Hello Despotic Horseman, how are you? Uh, firstly, thanks for your channel. It really gets me through some hard times. I recently went through what you would describe as a bad breakup. I'm very sorry to hear that, man. So your advice is great and your rants are quite cathartic, so thank you again. I thought I'd finally pick up the courage to send in my own hobby nightmare and the worst day I have ever experienced in the hobby at my local friendly game store in the south of the UK. So, first things first. I'm a Horus Heresy Dark Angels player. Ah, a man of culture, like myself. So I am lucky enough to get a lot of cool knightly models that set the army apart from most others. Yeah, uh, for me as in Northern Exiles, Dark Angels, Word Bearers first, Dark Angels second. The only time, the only reason I like Dark Angels more because the the model, the model uh, sphere is, is much, much, much better than the Word Bearers because Word Bearers is literally Mark IV Marines. Galvor back. Oh, you don't want possessed Marines? Ah, never mind. You know, Loyalist Word Bearers is a hard sell, but you know, that's why I like him. Anyway, continuing on. He says, I actually found your channel through the Outer Circle. So please pass on my thanks to him for pointing me your in for pointing me your way. Well, thank you, Mac. Um, if you're watching the video, thank you very much. The club I attend was a Thursday night club for war gamers of all shapes and sizes in terms of games, from bolt action to Warhammer Fantasy battles and everything in between. It all went on at the club. We even had a Blood Bowl league, and still do, if I remember correctly. Awesome. Yeah, Blood Bowl League is something that I've gone out of fashion. I don't know why. Does anybody actually have a Blood Bowl League? Put it in the description down below if you do. And Sorry, the description. The comments down below. Because I'd really like to know if people are still playing it on a regular basis. There was one player at the club who was kind of infamous. A bit of a salty salt miner. The worst type. Gloating and mocking when winning. Raging and accusatory when he lost. There was just no having a good time with this guy. His name was Frankie, and I stayed as far away as I possibly could from him after watching his antics. That was until our local grand tournament, our annual local grand tournament, that was hosted by the store's massive gaming room. I turned up to the Saturday full of energy and coffee, ready to take part in the Horus Heresy side of the tournament against my brothers from the Age of Darkness. The Horus Heresy guys were seen as the elder statesmen of the local area for hobby, and we even had a gaming team called the Four Horsemen, named after the wrestling stable. Yes, we are that old. You know what? That's, I've come across that quite a lot. That, that quite a lot of uh, uh, people who are into the Horus Heresy are the dads of the local hobby place. It's kind of wonderful. You know what I mean? It's kind of a nice little, little thing. Anyway. He says, We are all chilled back dads. Told you. <laughs> Literally told you. We are all chilled back dads who have a beer after our gaming sessions. In general, we have a chuckle and love what we do. They helped me out a lot with my recent breakup, to put, it, to put it mildly. So, back to the tournament. In my first two games, I play Blood Angels and Iron Warriors. 
winning both games narrowly with the new horror territory rules and finally drawing Frankie, who had also won his first two games, in the third round of three. Both of us had a chance of stealing victory with a win, but I was more concerned about not having my day ruined, to be honest. We set up for the game, with Frankie laying out his Sons of Horus, uh, suspiciously outside of his deployment zone by an inch or two. Now, I could have called this out, I am aware, but I was confident and determined to not, to not let this guy uh, get to me with his antics. Yeah, I get what you're saying there, dude. I get what you're saying. But when you have a guy like this, it's best to call him out nice and early. It's best just to say, look, that's not going to fly. Like, I'm not having that. You're outside of your deployment zone. You know, I, I've seen you do it before. Can we not do that, please? Let's just play the game as it's intended and not try and, you know. Or just politely say, hey, man, that's that outside of your deployment zone. Do you mind putting it back in? Something nice and polite. Keep doing it, but keep calling him out on it. Just don't let him get away with it. Because the minute you give these people an inch... They will take a mile. They're cheaters for a reason. Despotic Horseman continues. As the battle unfolded, each time he rolled a six or made a good interruption on me, he gloated, screaming in glee and generally shaking his rather large fist in my face as if we were opposing fans of a football team or something. Yeah, I can imagine that this guy's like many stones overweight as well. Just, just well, I'm wearing a leather jacket. Just saying. A long leather coat. Just saying. <clears throat> That's not he hasn't said that. I'm 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 totally projecting. Anyway. Slowly though, I noticed that my Dark Angels, through good rolls that he constantly bitched about, were holding their own against his charges and actually counter and actually began countercharging with our own veterans remarkably well. We were whittling down the Sons of Horus, and edging the game back in my favour slowly. When it came to turn five, I was seeing the normally crowing Frankie sweating a little. You see, he had told me at the start of the battle that my Mastodon tank would never make it into range to charge its, ter its Terminator payload into Horus Lupercal, as I had said was my intention from the very beginning. He had fired at it constantly and caused a dent or two, but not enough. We were doing 3,000 point games, and at this point I was tiring. But seeing my Mastodon, which took up a lot of points in my 300 and in my 3,000 point army, trundling towards Horus, who was arrogantly holding the, cent the center, gleefully smashing apart my veterans, was such a cool moment. On my turn, I went to disembark my Terminators, only for Frankie to complain loudly that I was cheating. Okay. Now, saying that quietly would piss me off. Saying it loudly means everybody there tars me with the cheetah brush, and I was not having that. Yeah, good for you, man. Like, screw this guy. Screw that. You don't do shit like that. You don't just say, you're cheating really loudly. You ask them, hey, man, could you remeasure that, please? Like, this guy is a real fucking piece of work. Like, before we... Like, honest to God. I asked him what his problem was. He called... He called for the TO, the tournament organiser, to come over and check my ranges. He said there was not enough room in the melee for me to get my Terminators out of the tank and charge. To which I said, fine, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. I can move my tank back a little to, until you're happy. And proceeded to do so before disembarking again. Frankie squealed at the top of his lungs that I had already made my move and could not just take it back. The mistake had been made. The tank would just have to sit there and not disembark anyone. Oh, my blood's fucking boiling. I, I hate people like this. I, I I generally don't use that word very often, but I, I really hate people like this. There, there's just no winning. There is no make... They're not there to play... A, they, they throw out the idea of a gentlemanly game of 40k or 30k or whatever. They just, they just piss all over it for any advantage. I, I just I can't stand them. I stupidly said, what? So Horus can just obliterate it in the next turn, I suppose? To which Frankie smiled and shrugged. Yeah, of course he did. Fucking wanker. The, the tournament organiser, thankfully, was a bit of a chad. He said that there had been some weird measuring going on in the game that he'd been watching, but not on the Dark Angel side, who had been, and, and it was not me who had been doing that so far. He allowed me to take back the tank to correct an honest mistake. 
That was not even a mistake, let's be honest. There was enough room for me to get the Terminators out before Frankie started squealing. But I took that and got on with it. I needed a 10-inch charge to make it in. I roll a 5 and a 6. Bang. I then hear more screeching from the other side of the table as Frankie again <coughs> loudly calls back the tournament organiser, calling me a cheat, pointing to the range of my Terminators to Horace, and exclaiming that I needed a 12-inch charge instead of a 10-inch charge. I calmly stated that this was not a problem until I rolled the 5 and a 6. Uh, very true, that's good, good point. And asked the tournament organiser to measure it for me. Surprise, surprise, he measured 9 inches to get my Terminators in base-to-base -base contact with Horace Lupercal. Yeah, I'd actually added an, 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 an extra inch onto the charge needed to make it hard for myself as I was a bit of a dumbass. Regardless, though, I was in. Awesome. Brilliant. The Dark Angels made mincemeat of Horus's last two wounds, claiming the centre of the battlefield and essentially all but ending the game. Frankie was upset to say the least, calling me a cheat for measuring incorrectly and that the tournament organiser was in on it as he was my friend. I'd never met the tournament organiser before as he was from another store and had come to help the, run the GT in exchange for a fry up the, ne the next morning and a bed to kip on after a night out. So, that is the cathartic part of the story over. Here comes the horror. That's not the horror story. Are you serious? Okay. I'm kind of terrified of what's going to happen here. As we are packing up, I told him... I... I, uh, I sorry, as I... I'm... I'm screwing... Northern Exile is screwing this up, ladies and gentlemen. This is perfectly written. I'm just being a retard, so I'm going to try and read this properly. As we are packing up, I am told I came second by the tournament organiser, as another player got more points accrued in his third game, despite having a, an identical record to me. Fair enough, though. I'll take second. Frankie chuckles that all my cheating had come to naught then. Fuck this guy. I elect to ignore him. Yeah, you're, doing, you're, you're a bigger man than I am, man. I'm telling you now. I ask him if he needs help handing over his models and pass him over a few of his veterans carefully by the base to his half of the table. He looks up, murder in his eyes, picks up my mastodon and says, Yeah, here, let me help you too. And proceeds to drop it onto the hard tiled floor. <sighs> I'm hearing the Horus Heresy players in the chat wincing even as I'm saying that. Now the Mastodon is a brick of a model. Let me just look it up. I, I, I have a vague resemblance of what a Mastodon looks like. Oh, yeah, that's a huge... Oh, that looks cool. It's a huge tank. £377.50. Fuck off. Who's paying that? Who's paying 300 Anyway. And he's dropped on the floor? Holy shit. Holy fuckballs. Oh my god. If this doesn't turn violent, I'm going to be amazed. Jesus. Now, the Mastodon model is a brick of a model with no real way to distribute the pressure of, of a smack like that on the floor. It cracks straight in half. Oh, Jesus. I am stunned to hear the tournament organiser exclaiming in rage to my right as Frankie tries desperately to pack up and quickly leave. Yeah, you fucking coward. I would... Ooh. Knowing he'd fucked up big time. Before I knew what I was doing, I had swung a punch that clipped the back of his ear and sent him sprawling into the table just as the tournament organiser reached us and separated us. Normally, I would never, ever back anybody up who takes things to a physical level. But my god, 377 quid and this guy just dropped it. After all of that shit he just put you through, I can't blame you. I literally cannot blame you. I I don't condone it, but I can't blame you. I just can't. That is a... Uh... Oh. So the TOs have reached you and separated you. The T.O. hurriedly shoved Frankie out the door with his models packed away. Oh, oh, yeah, he gets to pack his models away, does he? Okay, yeah, fine. And quietly banned him from the next tournament to give him time to improve his behaviour. Yeah, fuck this dude. Fuck this dude. 
The lads there were incredulous and demanded Frankie be made to pay for a new Mastodon. The tournament organiser, however, uh, sorry, the tournament organiser, however, uh, said that he had a guy at his painting studio, he owned one, who could work his magic on the ruined model free of charge. I went out that night cursing Frankie and his descendants, but all in all had a good evening. Again, man, you must be in either a highly paid job or you are a Zen Buddhist monk or something. Because, like, that would just ruin my day. In fact, I'd probably taken the rare remnants of the Mastodon and tried to shove them up his ass, to be honest with you. But, like, you did... You did... I bet you basically did what I, I would have done. I, I would have lost it there. I would have lost it way before you did, to be honest with you. My temper is not that good compared to yours. Um, the nice part of the story... I did get the Mastodon back, and fuck me, the guy did an amazing job. You would never know it split at all, apart from a small seam on the bottom of the tank. I got my baby back. Frankie still plays the hobby at that store whenever he's home, but whenever he started again with his attitude, the store would automatically disqualify him from the game he was playing, tanking his ranking in the store league. Eventually, he went to university this year at like 29, and has stopped coming. He is due back this Christmas, and we all and we are all kind of dreading it, dude. Why is he not fucking banned from the store? Why is he? Why haven't you guys just fucked this guy off? Anyway, cheers for all you do. Hope you found this entertaining, despotic horseman, dude. Why is this guy still at your store? He should be nowhere near your store. He should be absolutely nowhere near your store. Get this guy the fuck out of there. Sign a petition, do something, get him out of there. Like, that's ridiculous. And the fact that he carried on that behaviour afterwards, that's beyond the pale. Just just remove it. Remove him from your space. Blank him, don't play him, don't don't entertain him, don't do whatever. You know this guy is going to university and ruining the, 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 the group for everybody else there as well. Get him out. Get him out to teach him a fucking lesson. And only let him back in. When he's come back and he's apologised and he's ready to go and he's ready to, to be like an actual good player. But still, don't you ever play this guy ever again. Get this guy in the sea. Like, get, get him in a raft and send him out to the fucking sea. Just get him out there, right? Honestly, cut. What we need to do is cut Anfield away from Liverpool, right? Shove it into the Arctic somewhere. Take this twat and throw him out there as well. Stall of them. Get him out. Get him over there. Can't stand, can't stand cunts like this. Honestly, honestly, beyond the pale, beyond the pale. Um, cathartic. Yeah, you did what you needed to do there, man. But I'm telling you now, never play this guy again. And if the store are letting this guy come back into the store, have a word and say if this carries on, I'm, I'm taking my models. I'm going somewhere else because I can't put up with this, uh, dude. Dude, my blood's boiling. How can you do that to somebody else's models? Yeah, you know, it beggars belief. Like there's some parts of the hobby that I, I literally just shake my head in disbelief at sometimes. But anyway, oh god, um, have a wonderful weekend, guys. I'm gonna try and do a stream this weekend. Uh, but my, some of my family are back this weekend, so I might not be able to. Uh, have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful weekend. Please keep con continuing supporting the channel. You're doing such a good job in in maintaining the channel's growth. You guys are awesome. I love you all a long time. Have a wonderful day. And if I didn't get to your hobby nightmare today, it will be early next week. Love you all. See you later. Bye.